Okay, so I just got back, well, a couple hours ago. I, I went to my appointment, my two-week appointment. Um, today makes exactly two weeks since I had all of my teeth pulled. And um, so today I went to get them relined. And I don't know about you guys, but I think they're looking fabulous. They, I mentioned on um, one of the forums that I'm on, if any of you from the forum are watching, but um, I mentioned that I didn't really, really like the way they look because on camera they probably look good and you probably can't tell that much, but like in person and to me they just, they look really funny. Like, they, they stuck out. Like, they didn't, like, buck, but, like, it was just, like, it wasn't even that much of an overbite. They just came forward too much. Like, the top ones, they just protruded too much. And it, it gave me a Botox look. <laughs> like, it kind of looked like I had just gotten injections on my upper lip. And I didn't like it. So, um... That was corrected today. As you can see, they they aren't protruding. They're not, I mean, they're perfect. They look really good. So, that's one of the reasons that I want to do this video right now. Um, my last video was mainly me whining and complaining about what was me and, you know, all the shit I had to go through because fucked up teeth. Um, but this one I want to do to give some kind of insight to people who either just got this done or are going to get it done or think that they may end up having to have this type of setup in the future. So this is just coming from me, um, what happened for me, how it went down and what I think about it and how I felt and yada yada yada. Um, I mentioned before I'm 26. So I'm young. I'm going to be 27 in January. Um, I have three kids, my youngest being two months old, and I'm married. Um, so that's just the basics for me. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't have a job. So after I had Ezra, my youngest son, two months ago, well, three months ago now, um, I decided that I couldn't take it anymore. Like, you know, you know how, for any of you who have had babies, you know how when after you have the baby, like, you're just so ready to just start looking good again because, you know, you've done spent nine months waddling around being fat and feeling sorry for yourself, can't wear the cute clothes and whatever. Um, so that, that was my goal. After I had him, I wanted to get in shape and start looking better. And no matter what I did, I just couldn't look good because of my teeth. It doesn't matter how I do my hair, how much makeup I put on, no matter what. I mean, unless I plan on just keeping my mouth shut all the time, like I, there was no way I was gonna look good. So I knew I had to do something. Like this is the breaking point. I can't go around like that anymore. So I went to the dentist. I just randomly looked up any random dentist online. I know, I'm not saying to do that. You shouldn't do that. You should really seriously, like, um, know what you're getting yourself into. Um, but that's what I did because I was in a rush. So I found a dentist that does dentures and I went in for a consultation and, um, he basically said what I already knew. They all had to go and I needed to get dentures and mainly we were talking about money when it came to that. Um, as for payment, my parents got care credit. My credit is shot. I couldn't qualify, but my parents got a $3,900 line of credit, which is nothing, you know, that's, that's nothing compared to how much in the long run all of the work that I'm going to have done is going to cost. But it's a start, and it got this. Um, so I was quoted for the immediate dentures to have all of the teeth extracted and get the immediates put in. I was quoted 
four hundred dollars. We only had a thirty nine hundred dollar line of credit. Well, we thought that we could get it bumped up, but we couldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't give us any more. So I called the dentist back, and I was really upset. I was like, you know, I'm gonna have to cancel my appointment because my son's loud. I'm gonna have to cancel the appointment because I don't have all the money to pay for this. Um, so the lady said, well. Don't do that just yet. Just wait and we'll see what we can do for you. So the next morning I got a call back from her and um, she said uh, that they were going to go ahead and give me the discount. Now, most dentists, seriously, most dentists and with any kind of service you get, like if you pay cash money, you're going to get more of a discount than if you're paying like credit or something like that. Um, that's usually from the dentist that I've been to in the past. That's how they worked. Um, so I don't know if they felt sorry for me. I knew how badly I needed to have the work done or what, but they gave me that cash discount and I didn't have cash. So what was supposed to cost 5400 ended up only costing 4100 Like, that's a huge difference, right? So it's worth it, like, if you go to the dentist and you're quoted a certain price, it's worth it to try to see if they can work with you on that because mine did. Um, as for the 200 I'm just going to pay them back because I had, you know, $3,900 on credit and then I owe him two fifty. So I'm going to pay that back probably next month. But anyways, um, so yeah, so that uh, initial consultation was just to take x-rays and um, see what the situation was that we were up against. <laughs> and um, so I scheduled my appointment for a week later, yeah, a week later to get impressions made. Um, that's where they take a mold of your existing teeth. And from what I understand, the reason they can the reason they do it like that is to see um, where to position everything. It just it, it gives them something to work off of. So that's what they did at the one week appointment. Um, they took the impressions and started to make the dentures. Um, then I set my appointment up for one week later to have the procedure done. Now, my teeth were so bad, everything was surgical. Every tooth in my mouth had to be surgically removed. So, he prescribed me a lot of medicine. He prescribed me um, penicillin to start taking 48 hours before the procedure, um, just in case any infections going on, which there was. There was a lot of infection in my mouth. Um, then, the night before, I had to take a lorazepam because of anxiety issues. Then two, no, one hour before the uh, procedure, I had to take an Oxycontin, and I said before I was allergic, so when I got to the office, they ended up sending my sister to go get me morphine. Um, so I was on morphine and some other shit, I don't know. And he numbed it up like they always do when you go to the dentist and get work done like that. Just numb it up. I didn't get put under and... I wouldn't want to. I'm paranoid. <laughs> I'm paranoid that something will go wrong. So I was awake, kind of, but from all the medicine, I was like, mm, you know, out of it. Um, and I was that. I don't remember anything until the next day. The pain, it wasn't, it didn't hurt. It honestly wasn't what I would consider pain for me. It was uncomfortable. My face was really swollen. It was just like that achy, like, oh, you know, feeling. It wasn't like piercing pain. And I am a baby. And they, like, they know it at the dentist's office. And I know it pisses them off. I know it drives them crazy because, like, I've got to be one of their worst patients because I'm so sensitive to everything. Not just my mouth, just anything. Like, when I'm on my period, I'm on the floor rolling around like a baby. I don't tolerate pain, so for, coming for me to say that it didn't hurt, like, that's huge. It did not hurt. Until two weeks. So today is two weeks uh, since I had the extractions done, and over the course of this past 
week maybe they got so loose and I got so many sore spots in my mouth that hurt that's the kind of hurt that just is so annoying that you just want somebody to punch you and knock you out you just want to sleep through it and I can't because I've got three kids and I'm a stay-at-home mom and I have to run the house so it's been hell for me because of that because of the gum shrinkage and um you know everything just it's just it was uncomfortable so I went in today and he relined them and what that is is they just um, put this white goop in there and make you bite down and then you know do like that to get the bite set right and that's what happened it set my teeth back in it's a miracle because after I got the stuff done I hated looking at myself in the mirror I was like you know what I just want my fucking old raggedy teeth back because I my face looked so different and I, I didn't like it I mean I don't care how straight and white the teeth were it just didn't look like me so I hated it and I had went in like three days after the surgery like you know you've got to do something about this I can't take it and he kept telling me you're not being patient you're not giving it enough time it's not gonna be perfect as soon as you get it done so I thought he was full of shit but he was right he was right because two weeks later I looked like myself just with perfect teeth and it just feels so good I just want to go and tell everybody I want to run around just just smiling at everybody I just I seriously feel so happy that I got this done and I mean that's here's some advice if you know that your teeth are not gonna be saved like if you know that they're just so bad and so far gone that you can't save them then you gotta let them go I mean you just you have to let them go you have to say goodbye and get them out and it's not bad it's not a big deal it honestly isn't and I mean I could see like if you are dating you know and you, you didn't find that long-term partner that would be supportive of you I could see how I would be apprehensive of it but at the same time it's like you know what are you holding on to it, you don't look good with rotten teeth so it can't get much worse you know it's kind of to me like a really good trade-off like they're not really your teeth, which sucks, and you have to take them out, but at the same time, your appearance and your confidence and everything just drastically changes just like that. I mean, it really, really does make the difference. So, you know, weighing the pros and cons over here, bad teeth, they're yours. You can't smile, you can't chew for shit, you're going to get sick. I mean, all kinds of problems, but they're your teeth. And then over here, not your teeth. Your teeth are gone, and you've got plastic teeth, or whatever the hell they're made out of. Like, and they got to be taken out clean. But you look so much better, and you feel so much better, and you're healthier, and you don't have any infection. You don't have any more pain or anything like that. I mean, to me, that's a pretty good fucking trade-off. So, don't be scared. It's just because it's uncharted territory for you. But once you get over that that initial hurdle, you will feel so much better. Like I said, I mean, you know, I I am young and I'm attractive and I, I just, yeah. I never thought that it would come to this, but it did and I'm so happy that I just didn't hold back. I went ahead sucked it up and did what I had to do because I mean it I feel like a totally different person whether they are my teeth or not I feel so good so I just really know how scared y'all have to be about getting it done but trust me if you know that there's no alternatives do it because it's worth it in the end so anyways real quick before the time runs out I just want to let everybody know this is not going to be like a venture channel. This is not what that's about. No. This is going to be my like video log. Like to kind of go hand in hand with my blog when I just feel like talking. Um, if you want to check out my blog, it's www.theonestopthoughtshop.wordpress.com. That's where I do my little computer thing. 
And so, I will talk about dentures here, but this is not a denture channel. Um, so, yep, that's about it. Y'all have a good one, and hit me up with comments, please. I love comments. I love feedback. So, yeah, that's it. Peace.